As I walk through the village, it's looking kinda nice. I got the restaurant, I got the glaze thing, I got the blacksmith, I got my own house, the lumber yard, the barn, and the grocery store. But uh, you know what's missing? Houses. Where are people gonna live here? If this is about to be a village, I think I need to do some houses. And I think I'm gonna start today by doing one right here. It's gonna be my neighbor. Welcome to Medieval Engineers. So, in the meanwhile, while everything is going, the grocery store is not completely finished. The bridge is not completely finished. I still have a few pro projects to continue. But I think I would lively up the village a little bit by adding just houses uh, for people, you know? And uh, a cool thing about houses is I can use different materials, I can do different shapes, and it will add a different flavor to the village. And I'm not gonna put anything inside, it's just gonna be just for aesthetics. And I think right here, I got a nice big area to start a new house. So I was thinking, since my house has a garden on the back, maybe my neighbor has a little bit of a porch on the on the front. So let's see where it would be if I just started putting some, some railings. They will go a little low. So let's put some stone foundations there you go let's go O and uh, the street is kinda yeah I think like this it will work but it would have to be lower it would have to be lower and yeah if it snaps it goes right there Hmm, so I'm gonna try to, yeah, my house doesn't have stone foundations, it has wood foundations, yeah, so let's let's keep it wood, I think it will make more sense here. Yeah? Let's make it snap so it kind of lines up. Well, I could try to come from back here. One thing that I could also do is just dig a hole. back here so it's gonna be hidden and try to put the foundation lower and then I line it up with that one let's see if it works yeah there you go it goes much lower but now let's see if this is a good alignment yeah I think it's pretty good I could have a, just a little step but it's almost aligned with the street I think it works so let's see how wide would this be Could be. I kind of wanted to fill this this empty space here in the middle. So maybe it should have like all the way here, and this way we have a nice path in between the houses. And coming back here, I think it should work. On this side, I can leave a little bit more room because I got the cart over there. So, I think it should work. So, this area should be kind of cool. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But actually, I think I'm gonna add an extra layer right here. There you go. That's actually an idea that I never thought about before. Just doing a hole so that I can lower. The foundation without it snapping. Uh, I think it worked pretty well. And there we go. So I decided to remove this aisle on this side because if I have a window they would all be almost be touching with that one. So I think like this it's kind of centered and it looks pretty cool. Also I was thinking about doing a little garden in the front but I'm not sure about that. I think I'm gonna mimic what I, what I got in my own house and do a garden in the back. This way it kind of feels like it belongs to this place you know. And I can do a different type of house on other places. So for the time being, let's see. I got I got the foundations. Uh, yeah, let's cover it all up with with floors. Yeah, I think it's the next step. I think it might be actually easier with that person.
I'm not sure if that one went into that. There, it went. Nice. I'm keeping left shift click, but sometimes it puts it inside the block underneath. And then we have to dig the dirt to take it out so we can put another block over there. So, there you go. And we're done with the floor. Nice. It's kind of cool building like this. It's almost like we're playing SimCity or City Skylands or something. Uh, yeah. So, let's. I don't want it to be exactly as this one. So, this one has a very convoluted roof. I'm gonna try to do something more simple. And I think this house is gonna be. is gonna have a floor on top. It's not just gonna be ground floor. Uh, so, I think just to start, let's do a railing here. Uh, just, yeah, I think I'm gonna do just these three blocks for the porch. There you go. And let's put a little bit of a stair here. I think I'm gonna go first person now, it's a, a little easier. There you go. Nice. And the great thing is, if you don't like it, I can always remove it and you get everything back. So that's pretty cool. And I'm definitely thinking about using plank walls as I did on my own house. So let's stop by a door. And uh, I'm gonna put it on the inside. Yeah, as I learned with entrance, with door. There you go. As I learned in the grocery store, when we put like this on the inside, the roof sits a little bit better uh, on top of it. So, yeah, I think just a window. There you go. And then here. I can d remove this one. So let's see how it looks. Let's work with this. Let's work with this. It's gonna be a porch like that. And uh, I could just put walls all around. Uh, it's gonna be a big square, isn't it? You know what I could do? I can bring this back another block behind. And this could be like a garage for the people to park their horse and something like that, or their carriage. Yeah, I don't think that would be too bad. And I could have a railing coming out here. And this would be like a private parking space. Something like that. And uh, for that, I think I might use walls here. And then just putting a, 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 a railing on top. Let's try. I never did this before. And here I think I could use the other ones. Like this. And maybe I could cover up with this with the roof. But there you go. It'll be like a little uh, parking area for the house. Let's see how it goes. For, for the time being, I got an entrance. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Number four. Let's put another wall here. And this is gonna be four walls. Here too. Uh, I think I'm gonna put a window here so that the neighbors can talk to each other. There you go. And another window. Well, this is like the entrance, right? Yeah, let's put a window here. And uh, back here. Four walls. Get another window. A door. That light up with the one on the front. There you go. So I got a basic layout. Yeah, I think it works. I think it works. Uh, back here, I could extend 
this a little bit. Let's add a, another foundation here. Like that. And I'm thinking about the layout of the garden. I don't want to mimic the same one as that one. But it could be... It could be like two... I I'm trying to think a little bit like a city planner here. Uh, oftentimes, in one area, you got similar types of houses. In a, in, a, in a certain area. So this could be an area where people have gardens. And they all, all kind of look the same. But at the end... I think I'm gonna... Yeah, let's put floors first. There you go. Just one hit. Nice. The steel hammer is working very well. Okay. Only the other side missing. There you go. Nice. So we got a start of ours. Uh... Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a change here. I'm gonna extend this to the back a little bit, so it's not looking the same. Come on, go there. There you go. You went inside. God damn it. There you go. So this house will extend a little bit more to the back. As that one does, actually. But, uh, okay. And then, let's just put walls. It's gonna be a little easier, of course. Here... It's gonna be a well the door is gonna be on the side yeah the door is gonna be like this here a window and here could have another window there you go nice just take this a little bit. Not too much, maybe a little further away. There you go. And I think it should be enough. Let's see. A little bit more. And... Well, let's just take right here. There you go. And now let's top it off a little bit. Yeah, it's always a poor job when you're trying to work with <laughs> dirt. It just never looks just right. Uh, okay, that's fine. Is dirt inside? No. Okay, that's that's pretty good. So there it is. We got ourselves a little thing. So now this will have a bit of a really tall roof. If I leave the house like this, so I might just add uh, So I kind of have This line going here, so this could be uh, I could have a roof going into a second floor, you know And I could have the second floor on this part Hmm. Let's see, how am I doing in resources? I'm back on salad eating. That's fine. 
Still got one goulash. Yeah, but still not sure how I'm gonna do about it. And it would be kinda cool to have a roof here in the garage. So I think I'm gonna change at least this railing on this side for the same one as I have over there. There you go. Like this. And for the sake of symmetry, let's put it here too. There you go. This way, if I want to, I can extend the roof of the way here. Uh, but I could also have a separate roof on this one. Or I could have a roof here going into the house. Yeah, let me think for a second. Okay, so this is what I got going on. So I place uh, all these things and the roof coming here. And now I'm gonna try to do the roof coming from this side on the second floor. Above, can you go above? Am I gonna have to build a thing? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to put some, some stairs here. So let's put the stairs and uh, it could be right there there you go a second floor right here or a first floor yeah, come on man where do I have the points? Jesus And now, let's start putting down the roof. Now we're sinking. Come on. There you go. Something like this. For the time being, I'm gonna cover up the stairs so that I can reach here. Just easier. There you go. Roof. Let's put it in. There you go, like this, coming all the way here, and then here, it's gonna mimic, like this, and it's gonna go across, and let's see how it works, if it works, of course over there I'm gonna need uh, a wall, uh, yeah, number 6, There you go, the same on the front. There you go, let's put it in. There you go. Uh, let's go out and see how it looks. It's looking a pretty tall house next to mine, doesn't it? But I think it works. I think it works. The height is gonna be about the same because I'm still gonna have to put the pointy thing on top. And uh, what I could do is extend that part with walls coming out. Let's see. I can exemplify what I'm thinking about. Uh, for example, uh, no. First, let's. I think I'm gonna extend that roof over there. Let's see if I can put it in. There you go. Nice. And then here, I'm gonna put another set of walls. If I can. There it is. Just have to be at the right distance. Point at the right spot. There you go. Nice. In here.
I'm not sure if I can put the, the other wolf here. Let's see. This one? Yeah, it's not gonna work very well. I mean, it goes in. But I will have to change that one for a corner. Maybe I can. Let's try. There you go. So let's see. For this corner. Looks like it works. Okay. And I bet I can do the same here. So the corner is going to be on this one. Okay. So let's do the same thing. Put the other one first. Like there. And there you go. Yeah. Not exactly what I was thinking about. Because that... Oh boy. Because that part's going to be a little high. You know? Let's go with it. Let's go with it, and then we'll see. I still haven't figured out the roofs, uh, and I'm gonna have to get to Motimbas. Well, it's going. It's looking like a big house, alright. Uh, it's looking like a big house. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this part here. Looks a little weird. I mean, it works. It works. It's a functional roof. It's a function of... I think I'm gonna try to finish it and then see what changes I need to do. I think it's better. There you go. So now let's start putting one, the one on top. Uh, it would be... this one. And then... this one. And over there, yeah, I'm not sure. There you go, so I got that one going. Um, try to put it this one here. And, oh yeah, I think I got one that has three sides. Four, I think it's this one. There you go. It works. It works. Now, I don't think I can reach it. Uh, so let's also figure out where I'm going to have the floor. Oh, thank you. I think this is going to be all floor. Very smoky. Jesus. Okay, so I'm just gonna add a ladder so that I can reach over there. Take two hits. Gotcha. Oh, that's only one. Okay. So I got myself a roof. No one can deny that I got myself a house over here. Now, if it looks good, that's a totally different question. And I think I know the answer. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna keep it to myself for now. So here we will have a, a thing over there, and I could have a railing here, and we could have a view over the top. 
Yeah, that piece over there looks weird. I think I might change that roof and use that corner, the number five. Yeah, I think it might look better. Yeah, I think it's a little bit better like this. It kind of looks a little bit like a barn. Not sure. <laughs> but I mean, the roof works. Those edges are a little weird, definitely. Let's see how it looks from the back. And I got just enough room to pass from people. And okay, I'm not, I'm not hating. I think I might add a, a window. I don't really like to have windows lined up on the first and the second floor, so I might just put a little bit to the side or something, or maybe here on top of the door. And I could leave this open. This would be just like a little parking garage to put the horse or something. And uh, let's just attach here. Oh, it's going to be a bit too, too low. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it with timbers. Just going to put a little thing right here. So that I can... Like so. So they can attach the horse and stuff, you know? And I could definitely add a little thatch roof here. I think it will look kinda cool. I don't have that for me. Jesus, my tongue is completely twisted right now. Uh, thatch roof. Where is it? Show me the thatch roof. Thatch roof. Uh, that's the one. Uh... Put it there. Come on, man, don't be like that. A little thatch roof. Oh, I don't have rule of thatch. Of course not. I know I have rule of thatch somewhere, but I might be able. No, I don't have the branches. I already used them. God damn it! Where are, where are the rule of thatches? There they are. All 86 of them. I think a few of them should be enough. Uh, okay, let's see how it looks. I mean, I don't think it looks too bad. I really don't. I'm just thinking... You know, it, it always goes really high, the the roofs, the 45 degree angle, it's it's never very pleasing to me. I would prefer to have half the inclination. It, it always feels like it's way too high. Uh, and then again, in terms of functionality, I don't really like the fact that this goes into a wall. Because it's going to drop rain into that. But then again, the wall can roll through the, the wall and come back here. I mean, it's not a big problem. Really. Uh, because what are the options I got? Uh, yeah, I could put corners. Let's try to put corners. There you go. I think I like it a little bit better because the entrance is not so open and uh, it doesn't look as high. It's pointy. And uh, it goes into the walls, but uh, it, serves a, it serves the purpose of looking like a little bit of a garage. I think it works. And up here, I think I could be, I could add a few blank pillars. Just to finish off this sort of railing here. There you go. Nope. Number three. Nice. I think it gives a nice finish. Extra support over there. There you go. And maybe I could add also here. Uh, nope, number four and four. I can't. Am I too? Am I inside? Yeah, I was inside. There you go. I think it looks cool. It goes into the wall. And. Uh, 
Yeah, because it's this wall holding it and going over there. Yeah, I think I think it, it's it's looking all right. It's a little high, but then again, it's in between really tall buildings. So if this house was really small, I think it would look out of place. And it's not higher, too much higher than my own house because my own house has a big roof. I think it works. I think it works and it adds a little bit. Of course, I'm going to try to do all types of different houses. This one came out like this. And uh, it wasn't exactly as I was, as I was planning, but I think it works. The, the roof is functional. There's no big holes inside the roof. It's not symmetrical. It's, uh, it's it, it adds a different flavor. And it even looks a little different in terms of color because it doesn't have lighting. So I might just keep it like this because the torches over there give a, a little yellowish hue to my house. And this one looks darker. So it kind of looks like it has a different color. Even though it's exactly the same material and stuff. But I think it works. And I'm going to try to add a few more. Uh, maybe here. Here I could do like a little bit of a house. Like a, some sort of a bathroom. Or a little trader. Could sell some stuff like here. A little merchant. Could have a balcony over there. Uh, of course, I'm gonna still have to work on this blacksmith part. Yeah, there's still a lot of things to finish. There's also a new addition that I would like to add to my farm next to the barn. There's an idea that I have that I'm gonna try to build, but I don't know if it's gonna work because I would like to use stick fences. Uh, but let's see if it works as I have intended. But for now, I think this is a good addition. Starting to add more houses to the village so that it really looks like a village. And eventually, I would also like to make one on top of this hill. There would be like the mayor's house or something like that. A big house, a rich guy would live over there, you know? But uh, I think it works. There you go. My first house besides my own one. Thank you for watching and until next time.